Welcome back to the class on power simulation exercise. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the variable frequency control of synchronous motor. Already we have studied the variable frequency control of induction motor. How we are going to control the speed of the synchronous motor by means of the V by F control. If we want to run the synchronous motor below the base speed mean, now we have to maintain the V by F ratio as a cost. So why we are maintaining the V by F ratio as a cost and mean to keep the pull of torque of a synchronous motor is cost. At low speeds of a synchronous motor, we have to increase the V by F ratio so that pull out torque during the motoring as well as braking of a synchronous motor also we can maintain the cost. Suppose if we want to run the synchronous motor above the base speed, then we have to keep the voltage as a constant, then we have to increase the frequency, but pull out torque developed in the induction motor will be different. There are two modes of operation of a variable frequency control of a synchronous motor. First one is the two synchronous mode. The second one is the self-controlled mode or self-synchronous mode. In case of a two synchronous mode, the stator frequency, nothing but whatever the voltage of a frequency applied to the stator winding, that you have to change from initial value to the desired value very slowly so that the synchronous speed of a stator flux will be increases very slowly. That can be catched by the rotor. So the difference between the, the synchronous speed of a stator flux and rotor is very, very lesser so that the rotor can be catch the speed of a stator flux. So finally, the rotor is pulled into the synchronous speed after hunting the oscillation. The variable frequency control method, not only speed control in the synchronous motor, it also used to start the synchronous motor and, and regenerate the braking of the synchronous motor. Next, we're going to see the self-control mode or self-synchronous mode. In this method, we're keeping the sensors in a stator winding. These sensors are nothing but the position sensors. These position sensors will be generating a frequency of the signal, which is proportional to the speed of a rotor. So based upon the speed of a rotor, it is generating a frequency. That frequency we are applying to the stator winding of a synchronous motor. So the stator flux also will be running the same speed of a rotor. There is no problem of losing of synchronism between the stator flux and the rotor. So based upon the rotor speed only, we are applying the frequency of voltage to the stator winding so that the stator flux will be tracking the speed of a rotor. So both stator flux and the rotor will be in synchronism. That mode of operation is nothing but a self-control or self-synchronism mode. Here we have taken the three synchronous motors. Now we are going to operate the three synchronous motors by V by F control. Nothing but a variable frequency control. VSA is nothing but a voltage source inverter. Output of the VSA is nothing but AC voltage that is given to the synchronous motor where we can control both voltage as well as the frequency. In this case, how we are going to control the output voltage of a inverter means by changing the input voltage of a voltage source inverter. See here, we are keeping the phase control rectifier circuit by changing the firing angle of the phase control rectifier circuit, it gives the variable DC voltage to the inverter so that RMS voltage will be controlled. Same manner, the frequency also will be controlled from the frequency signal here. This is the reference frequency signal. This inductor is nothing but a DC link inductor. It eliminates the ripples in the voltage as well as a DC current. See here the AC supply is given. This AC supply will be rectified by the phase control rectifier circuit. The output is a DC that is given into the inverter circuit. The inverter is again converting the DC voltage into AC voltage that is given to the three synchronous motor. Now how we are going to control the speed of a three synchronous motor means whenever we are changing the frequency of the voltage applied to the synchronous motor, the synchronous speed will be changes. Whenever the synchronous speed is changes, the speed of a motor also will be changes. But in case of synchronous motor, speed of a motor and the synchronous speed is both a constant, same value. Suppose if you want to change the speed from the 40 head frequency to 60 head frequency. This is the time at which we are suddenly changing. This is 60 head. We change like this, frequency change suddenly, the synchronous speed also will be changed suddenly. That may not be tracked by the rotor. Because in case of synchronous motor, the rotor speed also same as the synchronous. So here we are using a delay block. Whenever you are using the delay block, this type of signal is we are giving to the delay block. Now the output of the delay block becomes there. Up to 40 heads is there. Now this 40 heads is will be slowly changes to the 60 heads. Nothing but a, it will take a long time to change the frequency from 40 heads to the 60 heads. So the synchronous speed of a motor also will be changes very slowly. Then the rotor will be track the speed of a stator flux. 
Now the output of the delay block is the reference frequency that is given to the flux control block. The main function of this flux control block is the suppose if the drive is running below the rated speed, then it is maintained the V by F ratio is cost. The proportional voltage reference will be generated here. Suppose if the frequency is more than the rated frequency, then the V is constant, where the frequency will be increases, reference will be generated here so that the pullout torque developed in a synchronous motor will be decreased. So the main function of the flux control block is that it is generating a reference voltage based upon the speed or reference frequency. So the output of this flux control block is given to the firing circuit. This firing circuit is, is going to set the firing pass to the rectifier circuit so that it will be controlling the DC voltage applied to the inverter. So whenever we are changing the DC voltage here, the RMS output voltage will be changed. So from this frequency, the inverter will, will be generating a frequency. So from the flux control block, the inverter will be generating a variable voltage so that it will be maintained the V by F ratio is constant. If the drive is running below the base speed, the drive is running above the base speed, then voltage is constant where the frequency will be increased so that the pullout torque developed in a synchronous motor will be decreased. In this manner, a closed loop block diagram of variable frequency control of multiple synchronous motor will be operated. Thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my YouTube channel so that I'm always welcome to answer all your questions.